Welcome, I'm Sam, and today myself, Adrian, and Tim are going to show you how to install a simple crossover system. The system we are installing today may not be as involved as your project, but most of the basics of installing an erect step system will be covered today. Let's take a look at the tools and accessories we will need to get started. The tools we need for this particular installation are a torque wrench, a three foot level, tape measure, chalk line, drill with a 5 8 diameter concrete bit, and anchor bolts. These are also 5 8 You will also need a temporary support system for the stairs. Today we are using a couple of saw horses and a 2x4. Okay, so now that we've looked at the tools, let's take a look at the retina step parts of the unit we will be assembling today. As you can see, the parts are light, so all you'll need is a hand truck. This eliminates the need for a crane or hoist. The erecta step system consists of the stair unit, which includes a stringer, the cross brace, the gussets, the backer plates, the treads, and the bolts, the platform unit, which includes the platform, the backer plate, and the bolts, and the handrail unit, which includes the platform handrail bolt kit. All right, it's about time to assemble the erecta step unit, but first, we need to locate the correct anchor bolt locations. Since a retina step can be installed in various locations and in different configurations, it is the installer's responsibility to identify and verify the appropriate anchoring solution. Today we are going to use the convenient retina step configurator pad layout for this system. We are going to lay out the location for the retina step system using measuring tape and chalk lines. Be sure to keep anchor lines square and parallel. We have drilled our holes for the anchor points. You will need to locate the anchor points and drill prior to assembly. Notice, do not assemble the unit off of the anchor bolts and then lift onto them make sure to assemble the system in its final location. Never move an assembled system. It is time to assemble the stair unit. First, we will need to assemble the treads to the stringers. Make sure to tighten down all the treads by hand. Using an impact wrench will damage the unit. Next, we will install the gusset brackets with the backing plates and two sets of nuts and bolts. It is very important to make sure these brackets are aligned correctly to avoid damage to the system. Then, we will mount the cross brace to the underside of the stringers. We will now set up the temporary supports while we install the stairs on the anchor points. Now that the stair unit is in place and bolted down, we will install the platform. Connect the vertical face of the stairs to the vertical face of the platform using bolts inserted through the stringers. It is necessary to use a backer plate for this connection. Failure to do so may cause the equipment to fail and result in an injury. We will also need to connect the platform to the gusset bracket with two bolts through the bottom holes of the gusset and platform. Once again, you need to make sure that the gusset and platform are aligned correctly to avoid damage to the system. For time purposes, we have assembled and bolted up the second stair unit exactly the same as the first. Now that we have two sets of steps and a platform assembled, it's time to now move on to assembling the handrails. We will need the slide rail insert that's included in the handrail kit. The slide rail insert needs to be oriented with the steel plate side facing the platform. A quick tip to make the process a bit easier, use tape to hold the inserts in the handrail and in the correct orientation while bolting the rails onto the platform. We will need to use a backer plate on the inside of the platform between the bolt and the platform surface. Tighten down the bolt to secure the handrail to the platform. Repeat the process for the other handrail. Congratulations, 
you've almost finished assembling your RetinaStep crossover unit. Now, we need to go through and test the torque ratings with a torque wrench. The torque setting on your wrench should be set to 75 foot-pounds for your half-inch bolted connections and to 90 foot-pounds for your 5 8 inch anchor bolts. All right, we are all torqued up and ready for our final step. We need to make sure the platform is level. Okay, we are all level and torqued to the right settings. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you enjoy your new RetinaStep crossover unit. Stay safe and have a great day.